I want to see your face in the light. Come closer. I want to hear your story because to me, it sounds like my favorite song. And just like that melody, the words get caught in my memory for days and days and I wouldn't have it any other way. You are my comic book hero. You are the voice of my, 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 my generation and my mother's and hers before that. I want to hear you because to me, you sound like the national anthem and I want to pledge allegiance to you because I see you and I want to see more of you. I hear you and I want to hear more of you. I love you and I want to love more of you. I thank you. And I want to thank more of you. So step into the light. I am a woman working in a man's world. Each night, I fall asleep on a tour bus to a symphony of masculine snores in a blacked out bunk that feels more like a coffin. Each day, there are over 200 men hard at work around me. Some force me to keep my guard up. Some become a brotherly safe haven. Some shapeshift between both. There are only six other women. One of those women thinks I'm a slut because I don't trust the part of audio engineer. And another, I don't even know her name yet because the men all refer to her as blowjob queen. I found myself a creature waking into a world unfit for a body of my form. A friend tried to ease the shock by arming me with a cliched mantra, don't let them steal your shine. I used those simple words to lullaby my anger into a sedated hum. For these men take without giving, touch without asking, because the world has taught them that they have authority over me and what is mine. They throw whisper darts of disrespect. I pull them bloodied from the ears they weren't meant to fall on. They shield their ego from my intellect, shrink me down into pretty body to protect a toxic masculinity. Don't let them steal your shine. I am a woman whose dainty childish appearance is grounds for termination. According to a 22 year old dude bro with the authority to rob me of money and dignity. After giving my job to his buddy, he asked me out for a drink, as though I am more fit for his bed than for his workplace. He sprinkles me with daily harassment that he believes to be flirty admiration. I don't fully blame him, for this straight white man from Alabama was never taught how to paint himself outside the lines of oppressor. Instead, he is taught to swallow his softness and vault it deep beneath the words too gentle for a man's lips. Don't let them steal your shine. I am a woman who fights for the right to stay in the game. I gave so much sweat and tears, I thought it might drown out their snickering. A petite feminine figure breaking underneath the weight of her labor. Sleepless nights perfecting the physics of a sound wave to show she is more than pretty little lady. But still, they will just see coy smiles, eye candy to keep them amused. Don't let them steal your shine. Their deprecation masquerades as adoration. Degradation coated in a sweet poison. It leaves you drenched in guilt for breaking under something so kindred to affection. For being unable to play along with an age-old game. There's a scream suppressed in every woman, tucked neatly under her good manners and grace. I feel it in me. It grows every time someone has told me to cover up, as though my body holds the responsibility for a man's lack of self-control. The weight of that burden is still trapped in my bones. It grows with every comment on my beauty that is used to undermine my talent, as though wisdom cannot live inside an alluring shell. It grows with every smile for me, sweet thing. Or what's a girl like you doing in a place like this? Or calm down, cutie. There's a scream suppressed in every woman. And every woman has a story. Behind the footprints on her back, 
and the scrapes on her shoulders from squeezing through fences that were meant to keep her in her place. And it is time for them all to be heard. As planets shift and power is moving, the feminine will rise. Because we are the women who refuse to believe the bedtime stories of damsels needing rescue. And we refuse to believe in a world where we are lesser. But we are the women who choose to believe that we are sacred. That we are beings of inexhaustible love. Warriors with life-creating strength built into our bodies. And we will take our grace that has been used to hold us captive and craft it into a river. So we can sail our battle cries into freedom because we refuse to let them steal our shine. I'm a woman. Working in a man's world, 